Hi everyone, welcome to Bharti Yoga, I am Bharti and welcome to this Get Set Yoga journey. Today we will be doing a Vinyasa Yoga flow where we will be moving through poses with breath. So once you are ready, let's hop onto the mat and get going. We will start with a quick warm-up. Let's come into a standing position with feet hip distance apart and toes pointing forward. Bring the hands to shoulder level. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, twist towards the right, taking the left hand towards the right shoulder and the right hand back. Look back. As you inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center, exhale, twist to the right, inhale, center. Let's do this a few times. Make sure that your feet are not rising up. Two more rounds. And relax. Now let's come close to the wall. Place the left hand on the wall. Now we are going to do some single leg kicks. So take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, kick the left foot forward and bring the right hand to touch the toes. As you inhale, Extend the arm and the leg back. Again, exhale, kick forward, inhale back. Exhale forward, inhale back. Keep breathing through the movement. Point the toe when you extend back and keep it flexed forward. Two more and relax and let's do it for the other side. Bring the right hand to the wall, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, kick the right foot forward and tap the toes with the left hand. Inhale back, exhale forward. Five more. Make sure that you are keeping yourself stable. Last one. And relax. And we'll do one more warm up with the wall. So come close to the wall with your back right up against the wall. As you inhale, extend both the arms up and interlace the fingers. Now as you exhale, we are going to bend towards the right side. Now as you are bending, make sure that both your shoulders and shoulder blades are still in contact with the wall. So we generally tend to move forward as we bend sideways. We don't want to do that. Instead, let's just move sideways. Look up, inhale center, exhale bend to the left, breathe into the stretch on the right side, inhale back, exhale bend to the right, inhale center, exhale bend to the left, inhale center, keep pressing into your feet as you bend, last time. Come back to center, release the hands and relax. Now let's get back onto the mat. Let's come to the top of the mat. We'll do two rounds of Surya Namaskar. Bring your feet together. 
spread the toes wide and spread the weight evenly on all the four corners of the feet engage the legs and pull the kneecaps up engage the core and pull the tailbone down straighten the spine and roll the shoulders back let's take a breath in and out here bring the hands to heart center as you inhale extend both the arms up into Hastottanasana. Exhale, fold forward, keeping the spine long to come all the way down into Uttanasana. You can keep the knee slightly bent initially, bringing the abdomen close to the thighs. Place both the hands on the mat and step the right foot back and bring the right knee down to come into low lunge or Anjanayasana. Look up diagonally, place both the hands on the mat and step the left foot back to come into high plank or Kumbhakasana. Exhale, knee, chest and chin or Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale, slide forward to come into Cobra or Bhujangasana. Keep the shoulders rolled back and look up diagonally. Keep the glutes engaged and the toes pointed back. Exhale, curl the toes in and come into Downward Facing Dog or Adho Mukhsmanasana. Inhale, step the right foot in and bring the left knee down to Anjanay Asana. Exhale, bring the left foot in. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Very good. Let's do it for the other side. Inhale, extend the arms up. Exhale, fold forward to Uttanasana. Inhale, left leg back to Anjanayasana. Step the right foot back. Exhale, knee chest chin. Inhale, Bhujanga. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Inhale, step the left foot in. Exhale, step the right foot in. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Very good. Let's start the second round. Inhale, extend the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, keeping the spine long. Inhale, right leg back. Retaining the breath, step the left leg back. Exhale, knee chest chin. Inhale, Bhajanga. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Inhale, right leg in. Exhale, left leg in. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again. Inhale, extend the arms up. Exhale, fold forward to Uttanasana. Inhale, left leg back. Step the right leg back. Exhale, knee chest chin. Inhale, Bhujanga. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Inhale, left leg in. Exhale, right leg in. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Very good. Let's take a breath in and out here before we start the vinyasas. Let's start. Inhale, extend both the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, keeping the spine long to Uttanasana. Inhale, step the right leg back. Look up diagonally. Inhale, extend both the arms up, pushing the hips forward and opening the chest towards the ceiling. As you exhale, bring the right elbow on the outside of the left knee and twist to the left 
bring the hands in namaskar mudra at heart center and look back take a breath in and out here bring both the hands to the mat step the right foot in and place it at 45 degree angle to prepare for pyramid pose inhale come up and extend the spine up exhale fold forward keeping the spine long into half fold bring the hands to the mat inhale elongate the spine exhale fold forward feeling a nice stretch in the left hamstring and calf muscles place both the palms firmly into the mat and step the left foot back to come into high plank exhale knee chest chin inhale bhujanga exhale adho mukha so we'll do the same thing on the other side inhale step the right foot in and look up diagonally inhale extend both the arms up exhale twist towards the right side bringing the left elbow on the outside of right knee look back keep the spine long and let's take a breath in and out here bring the hands down step the left foot in at 45 degrees inhale extend up exhale come into half fold keeping the spine long bring the hands to the mat inhale elongate the spine exhale fold forward take a breath in and out into the stretch you feel in the right hamstring and calf muscles come up step the left foot in come into uttanasana inhale all the way up exhale hands to heart center very good let's start the second set inhale extend both the arms up exhale fold forward uttanasana inhale step the right leg back ashwasan chalan asana now from here as you exhale start pushing the hips back to come into ardha hanuman asana or the half split keep the left leg straight with the toes pointing towards your face you should feel a good stretch in the left calf muscles and maybe even in the hamstrings as you inhale elongate the spine and as you exhale fold forward from the hips feeling a nice stretch in the back of the left leg now bring the right hand onto the mat and as you inhale extend the left arm up to come into a twist look up towards the left hand exhale come down come back to ashwasan chalan asana step the left foot back to high plank and let's take a vinyasa exhale knee chest chin inhale bhujanga exhale adho mukha inhale step the right foot in and bring left knee down to ashwasan chalan asana as you exhale push the hips back to come into hanuman asana inhale elongate the spine exhale fold forward keeping the spine long breathing into the stretch in the right leg place the left palm onto the mat inhale extend the right arm up to come into a twist keep the spine long and keep pressing into the right heel exhale bring the hand down come back to ashwasan chalan asana step the left foot in inhale all the way up exhale hands to heart center 
very good that was round two now in the third round we are going to combine the asanas of the first and second round so let's start inhale extend both the arms up exhale fold forward to uttanasana inhale step the right leg back exhale look up diagonally inhale extend both the arms up exhale bring the right elbow on the outside of left knee and twist to the left release step the right foot in inhale extend up exhale come into half fold bring the hands to the mat inhale elongate the spine exhale foot forward please bring the right knee down take a deep breath in in ashwasanchalan asana exhale push the hips back to come into half split or ardha hanuman asana inhale elongate the spine exhale fold forward and release place the right hand onto the mat inhale extend the left arm up looking up towards the left thumb exhale bring it down and come back to ashwasanchalan asana step the left foot back and let's take a vinyasa exhale knee chest chin inhale bhujanga exhale adho mukha let's take a breath in and out here before we start it on the other side inhale step the right foot in exhale look up diagonally inhale extend both the arms up exhale twist to the right bringing the left elbow on the outside of the right knee take a breath in and out here bring the hands down and step the left foot in inhale extend the spine up exhale fold forward bring the hands to the mat inhale elongate exhale fold all the way down to pyramid pose bring the left knee onto the mat take a deep breath in in ashwasanchalan asana exhale push the hips back to ardha hanuman asana or the half split inhale elongate the spine exhale fold forward keeping the right foot flexed place the left hand onto the mat inhale twist to the right looking up towards the right thumb maintaining your balance exhale bring it down come back to ashwasanchalan asana exhale step the left foot in inhale all the way up exhale hands to heart center very good let's take a couple of breaths here let's start the next set inhale extend the arms up exhale fold forward inhale right leg back to ashwasanchalan asana step the left leg back come into high plank and now from here bring your elbows down below the shoulders to come into elbow plank and from here we are going to go into the dolphin pose so as you inhale push the hips up and push into the shoulders to come into dolphin pose exhale push the hips down to come back to plank so we are going to do this dynamic movement 10 times inhale dolphin exhale plank inhale dolphin exhale plank keep the navel pulled in and keep the core engaged keep pushing into your elbows and shoulders away from the mat last 5 
then come back to high plank and let's take a vinyasa exhale knee chest chin inhale bhujanga exhale adho mukha let's take a breath in and out here pushing the chest close to the thighs keeping the shoulders rolled away from the ears step the right foot in step the left foot in inhale all the way up exhale hands to heart center very good let's start the next round now this time as you inhale extend the arms up and push the hips back to come into chair pose or utkat asana Let's stay here for three. Keep pushing the hips back. Two and one. Then slowly keep pushing the hips down to come all the way down into a full squat. Then you can come up on your toes. Take a deep breath in and extend the spine up. And as you exhale, bring the right elbow on the outside of the left knee and twist to the left. Make sure both your knees are aligned. Take a breath in and out here, twisting to the left. Bring both the hands down. Step or jump back into high plank. Exhale, knee chest chin. Inhale, bhujanga. Exhale, adho mukha. bend the knees and look between the hands step or jump forward and from here bring both your hips down into the full squat come up on your toes inhale extend both the arms up exhale bring the left elbow on the outside of the right knee and twist to the right keep the spine long and keep the knees aligned breath in and out bring the hands down inhale extend the arms up to come into chair pose exhale push into the feet and come all the way up very good and now we'll do the last set bring the hands to heart center as you inhale extend both the arms up and push the hips back to come back to chair pose let's stay for three keep the navel pulled in two keep the chest open and one now keep pushing the hips down all the way down to the full squat and then bring your hips to the mat and place the hands behind the hips to prepare for navasana from here as you inhale elongate the spine and lean slightly back then once you find your balance bring both the feet up keeping them bent at the knees and then slowly release the hands to bring them parallel to the floor We are going to do Navasana and Ardha Navasana dynamic movement. So take a deep breath in. As you inhale, bring the legs and the torso halfway down to Ardha Navasana. Exhale, come up to Navasana. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Seven more. spine long last one inhale down exhale up inhale down and hold for 5 4 3 2 and 1 and come all the way down to relax
then bring both the feet together and duck the hands slightly under the hips we are going to do Meru Dandasana now take a deep breath in and as you exhale start raising both the legs up and bring them to about 60 degree angles we are going to stay here for 10 9 keep breathing 8 4 3 2 and 1 slowly bring the feet down and relax Now we'll be doing Halasana. So bring the hands next to the hips. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring the feet to 90 degrees. Pushing into the hands. Lift the hips up. And keep lowering the feet behind the head to come into Halasana. You can interlace the fingers to bring the elbows closer. Let's stay here for three deep breaths. Slowly start bringing the hips onto the mat. And then lower the legs down. Tuck the hands under the hips. And let's get into fish pose on Matsyasana as a counter pose. Push into the elbows and look forward towards the feet. Bring the crown of the head onto the mat. And look back and let's stay here for five deep breaths. Slowly push up and look towards the toes and come all the way down. bring both the legs in and hug the knees in close to the chest to come into Pavan Muktasana. Let's roll side to side to massage the spine. And keeping the knees bent, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring both the knees onto the left side, in line with the hips, and twist towards the right. Try to keep the right shoulder on the mat and look towards the right side. Breathe into the stretch in the lower back. And then slowly release. Let's do it for the other side. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring the knees on the right side and twist to the left. Slowly come back to center, release both the legs and let's relax in Shavasana for a few deep breaths.
let your body completely relax loosening all the muscles and letting everything melt into the mat and just focus on breathing deeply observing your belly rise with each inhale and watching it fall with each exhale feel the effects of today's practice on your body with each inhalation breathe in strength and with each exhalation breathe out all tiredness Bring both the feet together and take both the arms over your head. As you inhale, stretch the entire body, making it as long as possible. And then release. Roll to one side and then slowly come up with support into an easy cross-legged sitting position. We'll end today's practice with three Om Chants. Take a deep breath in. Bring the hands to heart center and let's start trapping the palms to create heat in the palms. Gently bring the palms over the eyelids and feel the heat of the palms through the eyelids. Slowly bring the hands down and open your eyes. Hope you enjoyed today's practice. I'll see you soon. Till then, take care and bye-bye.